What's up, everybody? Big Herg, fresh out, and you're tuned into our new series, Prison Stories. You're gonna hear a story from somebody who's either lived it, witnessed it, or experienced it. These stories are gonna turn the hairs on your back up and have your motherfucking toes curling. These stories ain't no fucking joke. You guys think this fucking is a game? This ain't no motherfucking game. Anything could happen to you in prison. And these are prison stories. Yeah, you know, I remember this one time, man. It was like, uh, I can't really name the prison that I was in or basically the situation. I besides, like, I was in the hole, you know what I mean? And me and my celly, you know what I mean? At, at, uh, we're knocked out. And it's crazy because this one particular cat had walked in there real loud, you know what I mean? I guess he was, you know, mad at something that happened to him on the yard. And they ended up putting him in a particular cell with some dude and, uh, it's crazy, like, I, I, we had just said that this dude would end up getting got because he was, like, one of those loud mouths. But, you know, just to make a long story short, that night, my celly hits me, like, hey, Blacks, get up, fool, you know? And I'm tired, you know, we got to go to the yard the next day. But anyway, so I got up, you know what I mean? And he's like, hey, fool, look across the way. So I was like, you know, I'm expecting to see something stupid, maybe a cell fight, maybe the homie's acting dumb, you know what I mean? But... I look across the way and it wasn't the homies at all, you know what I mean? I ain't going to say what particular group it was, but I noticed these dudes, they were tussling for a second, you know what I mean? But uh, it's crazy, like the night staff, I guess, wasn't walking by, dude, and this guy on the door was like screaming, like literally screaming and nobody was listening to this dude. And at first I didn't, I didn't understand why he was screaming until I really started paying attention and it was the... The guy that he had just went in the cell with that day was raping this dude, like rape. And and it's and it's and though I didn't stay on the door long enough to really just pay attention all to the to the scene from his freaking face expression and the noise that he was making, I was done. You know what I mean? Just just. Seeing that situation and the, and the helplessness on this dude's face and the fact that he went from being somebody that came into the, into the hole all gangster and just loud to that look on his face. And that wasn't even the thing that got me. It was the next day when the gooners came and everything, they pulled him out and just, just how this guy was a victim and they just humiliated him and literally telling him to crack his ass. And they put it out there like, hey, is this the victim? And when they pulled him to the shower, it just like, like, I don't know, like in that instance, I was just like, I'm good. You know what I mean? But yeah, he got raped, you know what I mean? And he was a young fool and it, it, it was just sad because if you could have heard the sound, I can't even really describe the sound of it and the sound he was making with a grown man behind him doing what he was doing. And, and, this, and, and that's not even the, the only one that, that I've ever seen uh, you know, that that was bad like that. It was a, another instance. I was thinking I was in the county and I can't say what ta what, what particular group was going at it, but, you know, when, 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 you, when, you, when you watch somebody get hit with something that's like, you know, it's it, literally the bars that come off your cell and you see a person just getting ran through in multiple situations and, 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 and I'm going to tell you the sound of it is almost like a, now, just imagine that with something uh, probably about that big. You know what I'm saying? And, it's, and like I said, I can't really speak on it because, you know, it's, it's, it had nothing to do with us. But if you just see the holes in this man's body and hear the sound of him getting blasted up, that should give you a sense of, I don't want to do this. You know what I mean? No matter how hard you are to see, to see that and hear it, it's totally different than watching it on TV. And that's why I tell people, like, if you don't have to go through this and you don't have to put yourself in a situation to where you are witnessing this or even happen to participate in it, to avoid it, you know what I mean? And that's, and like I said, I can't go into detail because it's not us and it's just, you know, it's just something that happens in jail and it happens a lot, you know? And that's basically it on that. But, you know, I, there's, I've seen a lot of things that, that will make your toes curl up and, and make you want to, you know, 
probably lay on the bunk and never want to go out. There's people that have killed themselves. You know what I mean? And I know one cat in particular, real good with this dude. And he couldn't hack it. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, he just happened to be a few cells down when he slid his own throat. And for a while, you know, they, they made it seem like somebody else did it. But no, he killed himself when it all came down to it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, prison is a messed up place, you know? You see dead bodies. You see people get blasted. You see people kill themselves. You see all types of things. But those are only the only situation that I can really speak on. You know what I mean? Because it had nothing to do with us and, and there's no real detail to it about who or anything. But yeah, prison is like that and, it, and, and it's bad. And for them, the, the little youngsters that want to come in and, you know, just know what you're getting yourself into because it gets bad. You know, at the end of the day, it gets bad. And you know what I mean? And, and that's all I can really tell you on that. For all the viewers and subscribers who would like to become part of the supporting crew at $4.99 a month and contribute to the Fresh Out channel, this is what you'll be getting. An exclusive look at all up and coming spreads episodes. Learn what ingredients and recipes are used in prison to elevate the eating experience and how to get creative with what's available. Get your name in the credits. By becoming a member to the channel, you are directly helping us create better content. And out of acknowledgement, your name will be shown in the credits of the Fresh Out interviews. You will also gain exclusive members only access to footage that has never been seen before from our archives. Unreleased episodes, behind the scenes, bloopers, and that gritty stuff you guys like to talk about, but we can't really share on the regular YouTube channel. Bi-annually, you'll also get a commissary package. First six months, membership will get an apparel package of Fresh Out clothing, and the next six months, you guys will get a spreads package with all the recipes and ingredients you'll need to bust that fat ass spread. Last but not least, as an additional perk for supporting the channel and helping us create bigger and better content, all members get an exclusive discount code to use in the Fresh Out commissary store. You'll receive 10% off all orders, no matter how big or small, and this is for unlimited use, not a one-time thing. You'll get to use this 10% whenever you want, as long as you're a paid member. All this will be available in the community tab for all you paid exclusive members. You will also get to represent the Wig Splitter crew. All members to the channel will receive this dope Wig Splitter badge icon that appears next to your name whenever you post on the channel. I've got your back on the open talks and we'll be able to answer your questions as a priority and sometimes, man, you just got to represent. We also support nonprofit charities. After YouTube takes their cut of the $4.99, we will donate a percentage of all membership revenue to a worthwhile cause every quarter. Well, that's it, you guys. We hope you guys uh, take that step and become a paid member and support us so we can travel to your state or your town and do an interview and keep bringing you this dope content. But remember, guys, the channel's still free but there are a lot of perks to becoming a paid member. Big Hurt, fresh out.